Coming right up is Indy News number 178. It's going to be an all-image dark horse edition of Indy News. We're going to be talking about King Tiger. It's going to return over at Dark Horse. We're going to let you know all about that and how it's going to tie in with Project Black Sky. We're also going to talk about Fred Van Lente's upcoming work over at Dark Horse. Got a whole raft of projects coming up. Angel and Faith Season 10 is winging your way. We're going to let you know all about that. Folks over at Wasteland over at Oni are coming over to Image to start a new series called The Fuse. And we're going to wrap it all up with Ghosted's Joshua Williamson and how he has a brand new story about serial killers. And you know what? Screw winner! I don't care anymore! It's Chicago! Isn't this great? I'm walking in a winter wonderland! Here at Alternate Reality, Thursday is Ladies' Day. Every Thursday from 4 to 7 o'clock, all ladies save 20% off all their purchases at checkout. Little ladies, mom ladies, girlfriend ladies, wife ladies, older ladies, younger ladies, student ladies, all ladies save 20% off all their purchases every Thursday. And that's just another way your money works harder here at Alternate Reality. Setting homeless fashion trends since 2009, it's Comic Book Man and Bo with Indie News. We're going to rock this town. We're going to get a nice rock. Independent Comic Book News, episode 178, Ukulele. Hey folks, Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video outhouse. Bo! Bo! Yes! Bo! Indie News time! What time is it? It's Indie News time. Indie News time. I was twerking. Coming to you. Christ only. Coming to you from this place. Alternate reality. Look at your section. I want to live with the Kezzy. Stroking. Beautiful downtown. <laughs> <laughs> hey, stroking out, folks. Alternate reality are all my new indie comics, and especially my image and my Dark Horse comics are all 15% off every day for everyone. Bo. Yeah. Randy Stradley's, Stradley. Stradley's King Tiger, which is a Dark Horse book. He's a Dark Horse book. Dark Horse book. We'll be growing. Uh, Oh, he's, as part, he's returning uh, as part of the growing Project Dark Black Skyline, which involves all the old superheroes in yes, Dark Horse. Captain Midnight, Skyman, Midnight, Skyman, uh, anybody, uh, Alpha, X, Alpha John, Staple X. Girl, Ghost, and uh, maybe Barbed Wire. I don't know. <laughs> now he and Doug Wheatley will finally reveal the character's origin, which will have a horror twist to separate him from other martial arts superheroes. So people won't be going, "Isn't that Shane Chi in a different outfit?" <laughs> well, isn't it? <laughs> no. Well, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Fred Van Lente has an upcoming Dark Horse project. And oh, he's got a lot of stuff. A lot of them. Lot Fred's of them. working his butt off. Brain Boy is out right now. Brain Boy limited right series. Now. Coming. Uh, reprints of his silencers and action philosophers uh, limited series books, which were published, I think, from Kitchen Sink. And an unknown creator owned series, as well as him taking over Conan, which will be called from now on Conan the Avenger after Brian Wood walks away. Conan the Avengers. Which, Fred which, Van which, was, which, was a, which was a Conan book. Yeah, Fred, yeah, Fred Van Lente's walk. He. he Lenti was working independently. He was doing stuff like silences and action philosophers. Marvel found him. They gave him a whole bunch of work. And then all of a sudden, he started working less over at Marvel because they had bringing in more people. And so he's found a new home over at Dark Horse. And he's also found a new home over at Valiant. Okay. Apparently, he's very, very prolific. He can write a lot of books. So, yeah, he's well. Good for him. Uh, for those of you folks out there who have been waiting for the return of Angel and Faith, wait no longer. They have been scheduled. Season 10. Season 10. He's going to have Faith living in California while, while Angel stays in Magic Town, the area in England. Magic Town. Near writer Victor, Victor Gishler says the series will have a much darker tone than season number nine. It'll be more evil and twisted because Vichler basically made his introduction into the comic industry was because he was a horror novelist. And so he'll be he's going to up the horror level there. It's going to be a little less actiony, a little less uh, dramatic, a little more of a. A little less what? <laughs> dramatic. 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 What the hell? Is, what the hell is dramatic? Dramatic. It's a way of saying dramatic. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. You you go with that. See if I'll you buy it. that. Over People. at Oni Press, the Wasteland, the creators Anthony Johnson and Justin Greenwood are going to launch a new image series yes. called The Fuse. It the takes Fuse. place in a power station orbiting Earth. The series will consist in arcs, using a veteran cop and her new partner working on a new case. So you'll have. Four issues involving this case, and then they'll move on. They'll solve that case. You'll bring in another group of people working on the case, so it'll keep going. And so that gives Johnson and Greenwood a chance to be, have more fun and not be stuck in a box. Okay. And our last story involves Joshua Williamson, he, the guy who does Ghosted. He's this is now a regular series. A I'm new not. series from Image called Nail Biter. It'll Nail, explore that's well, what that is. Nail it's called Nail Biter. Yes. Okay. It'll explore how a small Oregon town has been the birthplace <coughs> of sixteen. Separate serial killers. So what is, it, what is it about this town that makes people want to go out and kill bunches of people? This series will be drawn by Mike Henderson. And apparently, Williamson says, working on this book, he's been reading a lot of serial killer books, and he's having trouble sleeping. <laughs> Why are you doing a book about serial killers? Because it's creepy. Well, hell, lots of things are creepy. 
That's it. We're done. We're finished. Right here. Been to we've McDonald's got, lately? We've got no more indie news. <laughs> Go to the store's website though. Check out all the indie news that McDonald's over here sends me I know that I know. post up. Hey, Ronald, yeah. <laughs> tell the folks where to go. Sarah knows, and she never eats at McDonald's because their food is wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. www.myalternatereality.com. It's like a loofah for your brain. So go to Star's website, check out all of his news. Until next time, this is Comic She's not, She doesn't feel worthy of it. And this is Bo <laughs> yes. saying, Don't feel worthy. I'm going over to McDonald's right now to get a shake or something. I'm not because I do not feel worthy enough to eat McDonald's Oh, it's food. easy. They, I, I am not a worthy enough human you know, being it's because, to eat McDonald's it's food. It's because you are not wearing the clothes you have to wear to get into McDonald's. <laughs> they have a very severe dress code which involves shirts with collars. Hey, excuse me, I have to go look in the dumpster for some clothes. <laughs> Bye! The Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them.